everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today's workout is focused on the arms and shoulders. So let's get started. For today's workout, I'm using two dumbbells. If you're doing this at home, choose dumbbells that are appropriate for you. So let's get started. Exercise number one is a row lunge. So you're going to go into a runner's lunge position. That means back leg straight, front knee right over your ankle. And then you're going to have the dumbbell on the inside of your foot. Lift it up. Keep your back nice and straight. Core pulls in tight. And then you're going to pull the dumbbell up next to your rib cage. So that's one. Two. Control the movement. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Same thing on the other side. So stand up, stretch out those legs if you need to. Runner's lunge to the other side, core pulls in tight, knee above your ankle, and lift and straighten. One, pull it toward the chest. Two, right to the outside of your rib cage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, next we have a tricep drop. So we're gonna use one dumbbell again this time. Hold it in the goblet position, so thumbs together, fingertips intertwined. Over your head, core pulls in tight, back stays straight. Drop it down until your elbows are straight up in the air. Keeping your elbows in the same position, lift it straight up. That's one, two, three, four, control the movement, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is going to be my limit on this one. Fifteen. Okay, so. Always go to your limit. If you can push to 20, go for it. If that's not where you are, either take a break and keep going or move on to the next exercise. I'm gonna shake it out and do the last five. Okay, next we have mountain push-ups. So we're going to combine a mountain climber and a push-up. Shake out those shoulders so you're ready. <laughs> so you're going to drive your knees toward your chest twice and then do a push-up. One, two, push-up. That's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight. Oh, I need a break. And I conveniently need to tie my shoe at the same time. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> Isn't it though? Okay, so that was eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Oh, my arms are burning already. <laughs> Apparently, I need to incorporate more hard arm workouts into my routine. Thirteen. Fourteen, last one. Fifteen. Okay, next we have curls, right and left. So I'm going to start with the right. I'm using 20 pound dumbbells, so I know I'm not going to get to 20, but that's okay. For these, it's good to max out. So you can either rest your elbow on your knee and bring the weight to your shoulder, or you can sit up straight, keeping your elbow tucked into your side. Two, just keep that back straight. Don't use any compensatory motions, so don't jerk your back or anything when you do it. All of it's coming from the arm. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. Okay, same thing on the other side. Deep breath, straight back, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, keeping it isolated to those muscles is hard, nine, ten, uh, eleven, one more. My right hand keeps trying to help my left hand. 12. Okay. Next we have a chest press, which I'm going to use my stability ball for. If you don't have a stability ball, you can do this laying on the floor. So the ball goes under your back and under your shoulder blades so you're supported. Core pulls in tight to Give you a little extra support, protect your spine, and then press up and bring it down. That's one. So bring it down to your shoulders and then up over your chest, too. And again, control the movement both ways up and down. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. Oh, I couldn't get it all the way up. Okay, that's okay. That means I maxed out. 12. Um, next, we have tricep extensions. So we're going to 
isolate that tricep again. Right arm first. So we're gonna stand, give yourself a little squat, basically a chair pose, core pulls in, butt reaches backwards, weight stays neutral at your hip, and then extend it back. Slight bend in the arm as you bring it forward. Extend. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing on the other side. Left arm this time, core pulls tight, slate squat, back straight, chest lifted. One, two, Three, four, extend it. Five, try and hold it for a second. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, next we have final exercise, decline push-up. So shake it out. Feet are going to go up onto a chair or a bench, something sturdy. You can even use a foam roller or your stability ball. I'm gonna put mine up on this bench. And legs are gonna go up. Core pulls tight. Shoulder blades press together as you go down and separate as you come up. Two, my arms are shaking. Three, Four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, two more, nine, and ten. <laughs> okay, guys, that's one round of today's workout. You should definitely feel it in your arms. Choose a weight that's gonna challenge you. So if you can easily do 20 or 25 reps, your weight's not heavy enough, time to increase the intensity. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com. I hope to see you there. Over 400 free home workouts, recipes, meal plans, and tips for healthy living. So check it out and have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.